Welcome to Touring Drive BC, a video tutorial series designed to help you get the most out of Drive BC's online traveler information system. Today, we'll help you set up your Drive BC subscriptions. From Drive BC's homepage on your desktop computer, you have three subscription options email alerts, Twitter and text message alerts, and RSS alerts. Let's start with email alerts. When you click to subscribe, you'll be asked to accept a disclaimer and give consent to have your email address used for DriveBC event notifications. You'll then be guided through a series of steps. Step 1. Enter your email address and choose your preferred email format. Step 2. Choose how often you'd like to receive notifications, the severity and types of events you want to know about, and whether you wish to filter alerts by area or route. Click the question mark icon for a detailed description of each option. Step 3. Review your settings and submit. You will then receive a confirmation email. Once you've confirmed your subscription by following the link provided, you will begin receiving email alerts according to your settings. You can change your settings or unsubscribe by following the email subscription icon on the homepage and clicking the second option. You will receive an email with links to change your settings or unsubscribe. On Twitter? Or do you want to receive text message alerts directly on your mobile phone? Click the Twitter icon on the home page. For example, let's say you live in the Lower Mainland. Click your region on the map or on the list of regional Twitter accounts to follow your local DriveBC Twitter feed. You'll find instructions for setting up text message alerts by following the blue button below the list. Subscribing to DriveBC RSS feeds works much the same way. RSS, also known as Really Simple Syndication, is a great way to receive alerts directly to your RSS reader. When you click the RSS icon from the homepage, a map and a list of RSS regional feeds appears. Hopefully, this tutorial helps you find your way using DriveBC. If you have any questions, there's a good chance the answer is on our Frequently Asked Questions page. If not, you're welcome to connect with us by submitting an email. Safe travels, and be sure to know before you go with DriveBC.